And joining me now is Mark Cutts. He is with the UN. He joins me from a refugee camp just across the border in Turkey. Talk to us about what these refugees who are coming from Idlib, from Syria, are telling you they're experiencing in inside of Syria. Well, the numbers are just staggering. Uh, as you reported, it's over 900,000 people. It's now nearly close to a million people who have been forced to flee their homes in the last uh, two months. Mm -hmm. um, the scale of the crisis is staggering, but it's not just the scale. It's the fact that uh, these people are not just fleeing a front line between two opposing armies. These people are themselves under attack. We're talking about an entire civilian population which is under attack. Um, you know, we're seeing entire towns and villages that have been emptied out. Uh, these people have been bombed uh, day and night. Uh, hospitals have been bombed and schools and marketplaces and densely populated civilian areas. You know, the entire place in the last few months has just been a killing field. Yeah. And um, we're hearing reports that camps for displaced people are also being targeted. Is that what you're hearing from people who are fleeing? This is our big worry today. These people have been corralled into a smaller and smaller area. And the area that they are now in is full of um, camps. Uh, and tents. About a million people in that area are living out in the open in camps and tents and makeshift shelters. They cannot withstand any airstrikes and uh, shelling in that location. Uh, that will be an absolute bloodbath. It'll be a huge massacre if the fighting continues into that area. And yet, um, everybody in that area is worried because there has been shelling uh, very close to that area. There's been shelling right in the middle of that area, actually, um, and it's created a huge panic. Uh, a number of displaced people and uh, other civilians have been killed in the last few days. And, um, you know, this fighting cannot continue further into that area. Um, that is the area where, you know, all of these displaced people are uh, living. And, um, you know, these really are the most vulnerable people in the world at the moment. This fighting yeah. must and stop now. And the, the children as well. We are uh, reporter Arwa Damon on the ground uh, uh, filed a, a dev an emotionally devastating uh, piece of journalism from the region where you saw kids essentially so traumatized by what they had gone through. Little girls wearing nothing but plastic flip flops walking for hours and hours overnight so traumatized that they had lost their voice, that they had, they were unable to express emotion even. Uh, in your experience as a humanitarian, how, how does this generation ever recover from this? This is the uh, horror of this war. Um, more than half of the 900,000 people who have fled their homes in the last uh, uh, few months are children. Uh, this is an assault, as I said, on a civilian population. This is an assault on children and on elderly people and on, you know, sick people. Um, you know, these hospitals have been attacked. There were two hospitals that were um, hit by airstrikes just yesterday. Um, we've had more than 70 hospitals and uh, clinics and other medical facilities that have stopped functioning in the last few months. There's simply not enough services now to cater for the millions of people that live in, yeah. in the northwestern corner of, of Syria. Mark Cutts, the UN Deputy Regional Humanitarian Coordinator for Syria. We appreciate uh, your time this evening on the program.